Okay, so this last week has been by far the craziest week for our AI agency. A lot of things are happening both personally and also inside of the business, and the business has had a crazy pivotal moment for itself as well. So this video really is just an update, letting you guys know exactly what's going on and where we're at. So for me, obviously being in Dubai right now, we've been here for like three months, it's great, I love it, it's really good for networking. If you're sitting there thinking about whether or not you should pull the trigger and actually just leave your country and come to Dubai, I 100% think you should. The network you'll build out here is insane and way better than if you were sat in London. God, don't ever take me back to London. But the problem with Dubai, and this is one thing that most people don't talk about, is you can only really live here six months of the year because it just gets so hot, especially if you're a pale, pasty white boy just like me. So we are now leaving Dubai in literally two days from now, and we're gonna be leaving Dubai for a good five months. We're gonna be traveling the world for five months. And for some people that may be sounding like, oh my God, five months, that's super exciting. You get to go on a five month holiday. But I'm sat there stressing out because, let me take this glass off, because I'm worried now because I can't actually be stuck in a routine. I can't continue working my normal hours. I have to be traveling. I have to move to different hotels. I have to go and see different people all over the world. And that's very, very stressful. For example, on Saturday, I'm flying to China. China is pretty cool, I've been there before, but that's gonna be really fun trying to work when everything is banned. You can't even use Google. So Google Meets with all of our clients is now out the window. You can't even use Slack. So this whole idea of being this digital nomad is great and sounds exciting, but there is definitely downsides to it. And you can see it live on YouTube, which should be very, very fun. Now in this video, like I said, I wanna go over the wins and the failures that we had this week, but it has been a mental few weeks for the agency. So let's dive into the week. It's been full of wins, and this is all down to the new systems that we've built inside of our agency that everyone else is ignoring. Now, firstly, for the last six months, we've been prioritizing systemizing our delivery inside of the agency. That means simplifying what it is we're selling, who we're selling it to, and just becoming experts at one thing. When we first started the agency, we went very, very broad. And you do need to do that to start to understand where you can provide the most value and where you actually are interested and what sort of clients you wanna work with. But right now we've done all that. We're now at the point where we need to scale. We need to go past and closer to $100,000, $200,000 per month. And the only way to do this is by systemizing it to a point where the service delivery is like, a Tesla workshop, you know, there's someone at every point of the line who just delivers this service over and over and over again. No variations, no variables. It's simple. There's one target avatar and that's where we need to be. So we are now at that point with lots of different partners. We have over the last six months pivoted into this offer and this structure and it's been working very, very well. We also hired a new COO to step in and head up all of this operation as well, meaning that I can actually spend more time focusing on creating content like this and working on the overall strategy for the business rather than in the weeds with Mark, figuring out everything and just getting really heavily involved with all the clients. So we're now at a point where we can step away and kind of look at it from a bird's eye perspective and actually build the business rather than work inside of it. You know, I can really focus on creating content, building more partnerships. One of our partnerships alone have paid us $44,000 this month. So it'd be stupid for me to now work on that project rather than continue to build the relationship with that partnership or go out there and find more partners. And that's how you need to start thinking about it. Stop thinking about you having to do all the work and start to think how you can systemize these operations and how you can actually plug in a team to help you along that journey so you can focus on the 10x tasks like getting more clients or building more partnerships or creating content on YouTube and building a brand around what it is you're doing. Now, the partners that we built up over the last six months as well have all now started to funnel us in this insane amount of work. And the best part about it is the type of projects and the type of clients they're actually sending our way. Some of the logos our agency is collecting right now is insane. And I cannot wait to share them on our site once it's all ready to go. But you'll, you'll see it and it's just nuts. The types of businesses that we've been working with, if I go back two years and look at where we came from to where we are now, it's just insane. Like the hard work and effort that's been put into building these relationships and working with these clients over like a 12 month time frame is all starting to pay off. Now to the point of systemizing, all of these clients are now gonna go through our systemized process. So it doesn't mean that there's gonna be a ton more work. It just means that we now have an opportunity to scale, which I'm so, so happy about. We also have a SaaS launch 
launch coming out inside of the agency, we wanna kind of build a system where it's less about us just always going in high ticket, but also providing an opportunity for us to help clients that maybe aren't ready to pull the trigger on like a five, 10K solution. Maybe they just want something smaller to dip their toes into the AI space and actually see how it could help them. So that's all to come. And that's something that we will be launching very, very soon. And this is a product and a solution that we can push out into different markets, but the core offering and the core pain point that we solve is the same across all of these avatars. So more to come on that, but this has been super exciting and it's been a long time in the works. And I personally feel like it's what's gonna take our agency to the next level. So super excited to get everything moving with that obviously and give it all the green light. But yeah, this has also been fueled by just the relationships that we've been building over the last three months since being in Dubai too. We met so many like genuinely nice people. When I was first coming to Dubai, I was like, oh man, I'm a bit worried. Like I'm leaving my comfort of London. I'm leaving my house that I own and I'm comfortable in. And I'm going to go and live in Dubai in the Middle East where I've never even been before. And I don't know anyone there. So I've now come here and kind of just had to put like my bloody, what's it? conversation hat on and you know I'm a pretty chatty guy and I'm not scared to get out of my comfort zone and go and speak to people at events and that kind of thing but it just hasn't been like that luckily I got introduced to a great bunch of people here in Dubai and they've just done nothing but help us build our business they've done nothing but help us plug into new uh, potential leads they've done nothing but help facilitate introductions to other business owners and it's just been so so good for that so my thought process on Dubai completely pivoted and changed there's nothing intimidating about coming here. It's actually, if you are a nice person and you're not always out there trying to take, 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 and you can give some stuff back to different people, then Dubai will reward you and you'll meet people that can help you through your journey. And I guess like that's just one piece of advice, like don't be a dick and actually go out there and provide value up front and turns out people will then do the same for you. But yeah, so Dubai has been insane for that and that is gonna help our agency tenfold over the next few years. I just know it. We plan on staying here for a good three years and I'm only three months in, so very, very excited about that. Also, start to get a bit of a tan, boys. How are we looking? Damn. A little bit brown. I was very pasty and white beginning of January, so happy about that. So that's another big plus for Dubai. But yeah, the networking has been crazy for the agency and the opportunities that we've had just come through this week alone are nuts. So can't wait to share more on that. But the best part is I don't have to do any of the delivery because we spent all this time building the team and systemizing our offer so much that just now minimal work and we can enjoy the fruits of our labor. So with all this going on, it's been a very, very crazy week. We're making good money. We're building good relationships. We're building a good network. We're bringing on more team members. We're simplifying our offer and our efforts are really starting to snowball. But there of course have been some massive failures over the last few months or even years, but specifically over the last few weeks as well. And this is obviously down to the fact that there is a lot of pressure. I'm leaving Dubai in like two days time. And that means that everything is not kind of been condensed into this like last sprint of deep work and focus. But the focus has been across different areas. I've got to focus on the YouTube channel. I've got to focus on building the agency. I've got to focus on building the network. I've got to focus on building SaaS products that we're involved in as well. And what this has meant is it just puts an unnecessary amount of pressure on myself and it means that I can't really focus on one thing and do it well. So what you'll find is when you start to build an agency or you start to just build a business in general, you're gonna get all these different opportunities come up and shiny objects appearing here, there and everywhere. And what you really need to do is have the power to turn them away, say no, because you need to keep focus on one thing. You need to do that one thing well, otherwise you're gonna end up doing 10 things badly opposed to one thing really, really well. So you need to be able to avoid splitting focus and you need to apply super focus on the one thing that you're trying to build. So that is one thing that obviously I've slapped on and uh, it's hit me pretty hard these last few weeks, just mainly with the pressure of leaving Dubai and all the different things that we do have going on. But luckily I do have a team in place that can take a lot of that pressure off which does give me that flexibility and that opportunity to make these mistakes and drop the ball here and there we're all human, it happens, okay? For the last few weeks, I've had just too many friends coming over to Dubai. We've had people living in the house and that means that they wanna go out and do things and my routine changes and I get distracted. And again, I'm human, I can't just block it out and I'm not just gonna be a dick and turn people away. You know, we've really prioritized building these systems and 
the relationships with different clients and Mark is just insanely good at holding down the fort and looking after the service delivery, meaning that I can be a little bit more flex on this stuff. So that has helped out a lot, but I have definitely been distracted. I've fallen out of my routine. We're still hitting the gym, we're still going for runs, but it's getting too hot now in Dubai, so I can't even leave the house to run. And then finally, this last few weeks, I just definitely haven't spoken to my family enough. I haven't given myself enough time to actually focus on the important things in life. Yes, we're making money. Yes, we're building our business, but you have to bring back the focus to say, what is more important? Building a business or speaking to your mum? Building a business or treating your girlfriend to a nice dinner out? You know, you can really lose sight of the important things in life. And you guys out there right now are building your businesses and you need to give it the attention it needs. You need to focus on it. But at the same time, you need to make sure that you're doing things that you aren't gonna regret at a later date. I'm gonna look back one day and regret not speaking to my parents enough, not speaking to my brother enough, not speaking to my different family members. And it's gonna bite me in the ass, regardless of how much money I then have in the bank because I didn't speak to them at the time. So make that a priority. Make sure you don't have those regrets because I definitely need to get better at this uh, and get better at managing my personal life between my business life because if it's all business, it's gonna end badly. And, it's, and if it's all personal, it's also gonna end badly too. So there needs to be that balance. And it's a hard one to find and uh, you'll crack it one day. I still haven't cracked it, so I'll let you know when I do. But overall, it's been a crazy few weeks and I'm just so excited with where we're heading with the agency and everything else in between. Not much else to say. I, I appreciate everyone watching these videos. I know it's been a little bit infrequent and some of the stuff that I'm talking about may be a little bit too advanced or out of reach for people that are just getting started with their agency. So I am really working hard to make sure I'm creating content that is gonna be valuable for you guys. Of course, this content on YouTube, it's always going to be free. And I plan to reveal everything for you so that you can go and action everything that I teach you to go and build your own AI agency. This is by far the best opportunity in 2024. So please pay attention because for us, I've never seen such rapid growth in an agency model as to what I've seen inside of Unorthodox over the last few months. Now, if you do wanna keep up to date with the travels over the next five months that I have coming up, God help me, please go and follow my Instagram down below in the description and then you'll be able to see everything that we're up to. It's gonna be a joke. We're going to like China, Australia, Bali, London, back into Greece, France, Spain, Ibiza, maybe to Japan and then back to Dubai. So it is going to be a nuts trip and I'm sure there's gonna be lots of cool content creation opportunities that come up. So I'll make sure I share them on Instagram and obviously on this channel too. So subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram. I will leave you with one thing. I'd say one of the only reasons that we have really crushed it this week was because we have all of the pieces of the puzzle lined up in our agency and we know how to execute. And when you're just getting started, there's one thing that you need to master. It's gonna be your offer. This is by far the most important thing. And sadly, it's also one of the hardest things to master. So luckily for you, I've chucked up a video here breaking down exactly what you need to know to structure your offer to start seeing these crazy weeks just like we are inside of our agency. So go and check that out here. Other than that, guys, have a good day. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.